I'm Nick. We're checking out another B550 board today. We're checking out this potent little MATX board from ASUS. It's the Tough Gaming B550 M Plus Wi-Fi. And remember, ladies and gents, and I say this in every one of these motherboard videos, this is not a review. Let's do it. As usual with these motherboard videos, they aren't reviews, they're just overviews so you can get an idea of the feature set with these boards and what physically comes in the box when you're buying a brand new motherboard. And there's been a little bit of confusion lately as to why we do these videos and people saying things like, oh, you know, you could just go to the vendor's website to see all this stuff. Well, a lot of people are lazy and they don't want to do that. And this is a nice way of us actually showing it so you can get a hands-on look at the board. So yeah, with all that said, let's check it out. All right, ladies and gents, it's time to check out the Tough Gaming B550 M Plus Wi-Fi. But first of all, we've got to get the motherboard out of the box so we can take a little bit of a closer look at all of the things that come with this brand new B550 MATX motherboard. First up, we've got this Wi-Fi antenna. This is a shark fin antenna for the built-in Wi-Fi 6 or the Wi-Fi AX. Pretty standard antenna design from ASUS. They basically use this one for all of their Wi-Fi boards. There's also this IO shield now. This isn't integrated. It is a bit odd that it's not, but it is a budget focus board. So it does make sense that they haven't integrated this. There's also a certificate of reliability, basically outlining all of the things that are reliable. Asus will take your word for it. Next up, we've got the round circular plastic device that nobody knows what it is or why it exists. And it has no place existing in 2020. Please give us USB sticks. The more I complain about it, the more it's gonna happen. Well, that's what I believe anyway, so give us USB sticks. Next up is the user guide. Now the user guide is a pretty handy bit of documentation that outlines everything on the board, what all the features are, where everything is, and how to plug everything in. It's useful for first time builders and people who've built millions of computers before. There's also the motherboard layout guide. Now we're actually not gonna be really looking at this considering that this video is a motherboard layout guide anyway, but yeah, a bit more of a hands-on look, and that's kind of the point of these videos. There's also a sheet of tough stickers. This is becoming pretty standard with all motherboards now. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I it, It's good that it exists, but yeah, it's good for those people who actually want to use them, not my cup of tea. There's also mounting gear for the two M.2 slots on this board. There's a little isolation pad, some standoffs, and some standard M.2 screws. And last but not least, there's a SATA or SATA cable for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. All right, ladies and gents, you know what time it is. We're going to unsheath that brand new B550M motherboard from ASUS and take a bit of a closer look. You ready? Let's do it. First up, we've got the front panel audio connector. There's a serial port or a COM port header. There's a three pin, five volt addressable RGB header. There's a 12 volt RGB header, a PWM fan connector, two USB 2.0 headers for legacy things like AIOs and all that stuff that needs it. There's a front panel connector for your lights and all your switches and four SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. Now along the right hand side of the board, there is a USB 3.2 header and a 24 pin power connector to send all that juice to your brand new motherboard. On the top side of the board, there's another RGB header, but it's only a 12 volt RGB header. There's two PWM fan connectors, one for an AIO pump and the other for CPU fan. There's a big old heat sink to help cool that eight plus two phase digital VRM setup, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later. And an eight pin EPS power connector for your CPU. For PCIe slots, we've got a buy one slot right up the top. There's a buy 16 slot for PCIe Gen 4 and another buy four slot that's actually a buy 16 size slot. And above all of that, there's an additional PWM WM fan connector. Because this is a B550 board, it does not require active cooling, it's passively cooled, and what we're looking at right here is the chipset heatsink with the big old Tough logo on it. The B550M Plus Wi-Fi has an 8 plus 2 digital VRM setup. There's two heatsinks. There's one heatsink that's in the rear I.O. segment of the motherboard, and there's another heatsink towards the top of the motherboard. Because this is a B550 board, it features a standard AM4 socket, but it only supports Ryzen 3000 CPUs and above. It does not support the 3200G or the 3400G, but I suspect it will support later APUs. So let's say 
4,000 series APUs, but there's nothing confirmed yet. And yeah, that's basically it. And if we flip the board over, you can see there's not a lot going on here. There's the standard AM4 backplate for the socket mounting and the retention system. But other than that, there's nothing too special going on back here. All right, let's speed it up a little bit and take the heat sink off the M.2 slot towards the bottom so we can take a bit of a closer look. There's two M.2 slots. The top M.2 slot is a PCIe Gen 4 slot. The bottom one is a PCIe Gen 3 slot. For the memory setup, we've got four DDR4 RAM slots which support up to 128 gigs of RAM at 4600 megahertz overclocked. All right, let's take a quick look at that rear I.O. There's a PS2 port and some USB ports. There's some USB 3.2 ports along the back side of the board. There's some antenna connectors for the built-in Wi-Fi AX or Wi-Fi 6. There's a display port connector and an HDMI 2.0 connector. If you were to be using some type of APU with this motherboard, there's 2.5 gigabit Realtek Ethernet. There's a, another USB 3.2 port, USB Type-C and 7.1 digital surround sound. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look and overview of the ASUS Tough Gaming B550M Plus Wi-Fi. I uh, think this board's gonna be pretty interesting to do a build with. We are gonna do a build with it. And like I mentioned in the last couple videos where we checked out MATX boards, these boards, like our stock is slowly accumulating. And at the same time, we've got a lot of MATX cases coming in. I feel like there's gonna be a little bit of a shift in the market towards MATX again, which I'm all for because it's like my favorite form factor. Yeah. What do you reckon, Claire? MATX, you like it? Yeah. I dig it. And if you guys like the music you heard here, I make all the music and it's available over on our Patreon. If you want to support the channel, you can hit that join button right now or get early access to videos just like this one over on Floatplane. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. Hit the dislike button twice. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick of Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And yes, we have a build planned with this board as well. All the MATX stuff that we've been showing, we're doing builds with. And basically everything that we've showed, uh, we're doing builds with. We're just uh, waiting for things to arrive. You know how it is. The world's a very different place these days and things just take a little bit longer to happen. But we've got lots of really exciting builds coming. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.